This video is for new customers using Census AMI and AMR technology. With this tech, there are many types of tools and software that you'll use. One of the most important and frequently used softwares is FieldLogic Hub. FieldLogic Hub is the software used to create each product configuration for every piece of hardware in either an AMI or AMR solution. For this video, we're already assuming that you have FieldLogic Hub installed. For more information on how to download, reach out to your distributor or census tech support. In FieldLogic tools, you'll see two different tables called devices and configurations. Select the configurations tab. In the configurations tab, select, double click the click here to create a new device configuration. And we are going to create a new device configuration for a new network specification. Uh, you'll need to apply the network file that is provided by Census Tech Support or uh, your value added reseller distributor. And we'll need to browse the uh, browse your files in order to uh, locate that device or that network specification. For this example, we're going to use Arlington Natural Gases network specification, which is a file type of field logic network definition. Select that file and click open. Uh, since I already support this customer, um, I'm getting an error that you will not get, uh, which essentially shows that there's a, um, a network file already in place for Arlington Natural Gas. Um, we will go ahead and just overwrite that since it's the same exact file. And the next step is going to be to give the new device configuration a name. Um, so we'll just use this as demo with today's date. and select next. And the device configuration was successfully created. We'll click finish. Now we'll move on to um, basically creating a new product, uh, creating each product configuration that's going to reside underneath the, uh, the utility configuration. And the way that we're gonna do that is by double clicking uh, the configuration that you just created. And you should see a new window populate uh, with product configurations, application behavior, and firmware images. We're gonna stay on the product configurations tab and we're going to double click to support an additional product. If you are a gas AMR AMI customer, you'll select the dropdown and you should see a list of all of the different types of hardware that can be installed into a FlexNet AMR or AMI solution. For this example, we are going to create a product configuration for a uh, residential smart point. So you're going, which is a 100 GM uh, smart point, but the same exact product configuration is going to be used for all um, for all smart point hardware uh, that attaches to a meter, essentially, a with a direct connection to a meter. So that's gonna be your 100 GM for your R275s, 300 GMs for the uh, AC250s or other side mount American diaphragm meters, uh, the 500 GM, which sits atop uh, a census diaphragm, uh, a top mount census diaphragm meter, the 600 GM, which is for an, an American top mount style diaphragm meter. Um, and we don't see the 800 GM very often anymore. I believe that's a Schlumberger model there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stick to the 100 GM through 600 GM and 800 GM and select next. And the next thing we have to do is give that uh, configuration a name. Since we know that we are going to put this on a, an R275 meter and only the 100 GM smart point is compatible with that, we're going to call this 100 GM R275. And we're, 
I also like to give it a little bit of nomenclature here uh, with the number of dials and whether or not the, um, the meter that you are attaching this to is pressure compensated uh, or not. For this example, it is not a pressure compensated style meter. So we're just gonna name it R275, uh, excuse me, 100 GM R275 with four dials and seven inches, which is uh, seven inches water column, which is the typical delivery or standard delivery pressure of natural gas through R275 meters. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do um, is the, is select uh, the type, uh, select the correct parameters for the index that you have in front of you. Uh, the This particular index that we're looking at on an R275 has an LCD uh, or direct read index. It has a direct read index with four digits. And the rightmost reading digit in that, um, on those direct read dials, measures in cubic feet at 100 cubic feet uh, as the multiplier. The census R275s have a proving hand of two feet, which is the small, uh, the small dial in the bottom left-hand corner uh, of your index. So we will select two feet. And since we said that this meter is not pressure compensated, uh, we're gonna leave this unchecked for any type of alarms that you would like to be applied to uh, this smart point upon activation. Uh, that's gonna be under your fault detection tab. We have a high flow alarm and a reverse flow alarm. Um, we typically do not recommend applying these alarms on initial setup um, as a high flow alarm could be triggered. Um, a high flow alarm could be triggered mistakenly if you do not have exact parameters for each individual account. So you'll need to know how how much gas is, has the potential to go through that meter at a, at a cubic foot per minute at any, at any time. Um, so essentially we like to uh, recommend that you leave this setting off, uh, the high flow alarm off until you get some good consumption data um, to review and apply the appropriate parameters for that setting. Uh, I do recommend the reverse flow alarm um, personally, because essentially this is going to be, uh, this is going to indicate whether or not a customer has basically removed that meter from service, flipped it around and tried to run that, that meter backwards. Um, so the alarm will be triggered. I typically like to put at least 20 cubic feet of gas flowing backwards through that meter. Um, every every natural gas setting is going to have some fluctuation. So you want to make sure it's at least above 10 uh, for that for that setting, in our personal opinion. And you'll select next once you verify that it matches what your once you verify that your selections match what your configuration name is, you will select next. And this Smart point. The next screen you're going to see here is uh, the programming for the FlexNet communication. Um, whether you are in a, a fixed base or an AMI solution or in a walk by drive by, which is an AMR network. We are applying this in a walk by drive by network. And so um, that removes some of the selections. If we were applying this into a fixed base network, we can essentially program in some settings um, or some exceptions into that network. For all new customers, uh, you will be on a RNI version greater than 2.1.0. Um, and for gas only customers, uh, neither of these selections will be applicable uh, for the FlexNet remote transceivers or the FlexNet electric meters. So we'll switch this back to a walk by drive by and we'll select finish. And you should see uh, the product configuration that you just created uh, populate under the product configurations tab. At this point, you'll repeat these steps for each type of smart point and meter combination type that you have uh, in your distribution system. For additional information on, um, on product configurations, reach out to Census Tech Support or your local distributor uh, for more.